reality check. And tonight, NBC 15 News uncovering taxpayer dollars were helping fund registered sex offender Cedric McMillan's nonprofit organization, Overlook Swim Club. Teens and preteens frequent the swim club, which is operated by McMillan and his new birth community church. How did McMillan secure funding for a program involving children despite being a convicted sex offender who sodomized a girl under the age of 14? NBC 15's Rachel Wilkerson sifted through the records to get the answers. Rachel? Kim and Greg, we're learning the city council and the county commission did nothing wrong. They just failed to pick up on McMillan's relationship with the swim club. Documents show at least 5,500 taxpayer dollars from the county and city of Mobile were funding Cedric McMillan's swim club. Just last month, the city council approved $500 to McMillan's new birth community church to help operate its Overlook Swim Club for the 2019 summer season. A swimming pool in a neighborhood without a pool, without anything for children to do during the summer months was a good idea to help provide that, that benefit. Kids need something to do. Councilwoman Gina Gregory says McMillan contacted her directly. The Overlook Swim Club sits in her district. Since the swim club does benefit children in the district, I thought it was an appropriate expenditure. Gregory says she's approved funds in the past for the swim club. We wanted to know if any background checks were conducted before taxpayer money was dispersed. The request comes in, we look at that, we send it to legal and to accounting, and they look at it to make sure it's proper or not. Gregory says there was never a red flag because the funds were for the church and not McMillan. As far as any issues that this person has, we were not aware. So therefore, that had nothing to do with our thinking along the lines. If we got a request now with the same person, the same organization wanting funds, then certainly that would raise a red flag. County commissioners gave $5,000 to the Overlook Swim Club to help with advertising and the purchase of pool chemicals and supplies. Late this afternoon, the commission issued a statement saying it, like the city, looked at the organization requesting the funds and not McMillan, saying the county does not run background checks on individuals associated with the organization. When we stopped by the swim club today, it was closed and had a padlock on its gates. Kim and Greg. Rachel, thanks. Cedric McMillan is currently in Metro Jail. He is being held without bond and is set to appear in court tomorrow. McMillan was arrested last week for violating his sex offender registration. He had to register as a sex offender in 2012 after his conviction of sodomy and sexual abuse against a girl under the age of 14. McMillan was also arrested on a sex offender violation in 2017. Uh, we followed this breaking investigation since it all began. For all our coverage and any new developments, head to our website, mynbc15.com.